Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. I, really? I, yeah, I think about, sitcom yeah, live, action. live action like live. Simpsons got you beat there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpsons so. has been on for fuck thirty years, and those guys are richer than Jesus. Every single one of them, they're making a million dollars an episode on The Simpsons just for a voice. Jesus, I don't, yeah, Jesus took didn't a even have a bank poverty. account. You know? like Jesus took a vow. He didn't even have a bank account. Yeah. He, no he one had a more... fucking bank account. What? Right? But and nobody was talking, nobody was I, richer I mean, in the... spirit. You know. Like Jesus didn't even have a debit card, man. What's his problem? He didn't. Well, he I didn't think that's plastic. a lie. They didn't had exist. some form of bank account, like maybe like a stone safe that they locked up well, coins in. The disciples called it the bag. Okay. And it was a bag of money that yeah. they just carried around with them. Yeah. That was so fucking Coin interesting. Purse. You should write a yeah. dissertation Damn. on that statement. The bag. I'm sure someone has actually. And it was Coming a bag. to a theater near <laughs> you. The, the bag. bag. You were a theology <laughs> major though, so nobody knows more about religion on this show than you do, Dan. Um, well, Evan knows a couple of things, but I don't think we can talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was a liberal arts major, so I essentially burnt $52,000, no and now oh. I have a piece of paper for it. Well, Super exciting. I mean, that can get you somewhere. Yeah, it yeah. It's a $12 here. an hour job. The it only reason I'm decent business is because of my bachelor's degree. It no, got it's you not here. accurate whatsoever. Got you here, and that's what matters. Yeah, that's all that, that matters. The, hmm. Like the bachelor's degree is now the high school diploma, and you have to get a graduate degree to uh, like get a real white collar job these days. I think there are bachelor degrees out there that would be considered basically a high school diploma. Mine, if uh, if you're in a very specific degree program, but I also think there are very hard hard bachelor programs, right? So yeah. you know, bachelor in mathematics hasn't necessarily changed in 30 years no right it really hasn't so why do you think so that because I can't even yeah, it. <laughs> right or you know computer science mm -hmm. right so engineering science like any of those i think you're still looking biology but those you know? those give you knowledge that lead to a skill that you need well to people do a people job. i think act in how it was like 20 art 30 history, years ago like, where what like, are you gonna do you're gonna work at a library or a art yeah, gallery a curator, what are basically. you gonna do well yeah like back in the day a bachelor's degree meant like higher education you're awesome now it's like well what is it in because if it's not in some yeah. form of trade mm -hmm. or applicable skill and i'm beating myself up because i have a liberal arts degree it taught me nothing other than how to write and mm -hmm. a lot of general bullshit yeah, but that's a really important stuff. skill it I is being still, able to be able to do project management and gantt charts and write long Long papers is a really good skill. I that. learned more in my week long project management course I went through back at my old job than I did probably in all of college. Yeah. I mean, but also, I was thinking back, why aren't we teaching just taxes in high school? Like, I, they, I didn't have a single no, fucking class about taxes in high school. Instead of home economics? They, yeah. They, they, they do. I mean, you, you have to search the correct course. I mean, I remember taking, uh, what? Yeah, exactly. Home economics. But where was yeah, the, we, it? Was where never, was the, it where was the home economics ec was part? Cooking and like some other bullshit. It wasn't fucking. This, hey, this is how you live your life when you leave here. I took it in yeah, middle school. Like I can't remember. I, I really, I, I can't remember. I but, can't even remember that far back. I, I'm really good at just forgetting shit. <laughs> yeah. High school's the same way though. Like when I had my guidance counselors, I just, I fucking hated math. So I tried to do all psychology classes, like theory classes, and all this other bullshit. And it was pretty easy because. It's, I mean, how do you grade like a paper on you bullshit. your feelings? Yeah, yeah you can it's bullshit. Just... That's true. Oh, it, it's oh, all subjective. Oh. Hey, let me ask you this, Evan. As the CEO of Black Rifle Coffee, are you more, would you hire somebody with a college degree versus somebody just out of high school or somebody just out of the military with no college degree? How do you judge who your employees are going to be when you interview Hyper them based on, on a resume? Position. Yeah, Hyper dependent it's, on the position. It's all dependent on the positions and the pre qualifications for the positions and the person's experience. So, like, you're not going to hire a high school grad yeah. for a, a CPA position. I think that would be a bad but move in probably business. Probably a bad move. Yeah. <laughs> probably a bad move. Sure. Yeah. But if, if you've got a guy like, you know, we went through an interview process for the chief operating officer of Black Rifle Coffee, and we met people that didn't have college degrees that had uh, achieved a very specific amount of success within their executive like within an executive category and one guy in, in, in specifically uh he was a very successful executive and he had a high school diploma mm -hmm. uh, and it was based on how much work that guy had put in over the last 30 years and he was more successful than guys that had master's degrees from Harvard. Yeah, he, he was probably got it. in with some company early and learned the ropes and then grew in that one company and he moved on to other companies he, and kept growing. That's, he he structured one of the largest 
deals in modern CPG history. And he was the, yeah. he was, he was the lead architect in it. He was he's a, a veteran billion. Too. Yeah. He's a veteran. I mean, awesome guy. He had, so. a, he had alligator shoes. I remember that. Yeah. And I made fun gators. of him, but he was very well dressed. Alligator I'll shoes. give him that. Very hey. well dressed, but there's a, there's a great example. Once you get into the professional workplace, you can continue to achieve based on your individual drive, intelligence, mm -hmm. then what you're willing to take on to further professional develop yourself. Yeah. Like it's very, it's very applicable even today in, in America. I, I firmly agree. This is within the modern workplace. It is the land of opportunity. If you go to the right company with the right company. I agree. There's a lot of examples that come out of like the talent industry and Ross, you could probably speak to this, but like I know a few girls that started as secretaries for a talent agency making $32,000 a year. I mean, Fast yeah, forward eight years, the, they're yeah. running their own talent agency. They have fucking 50 people that work for them and they're bringing in $2 million a year. And you're like, whoo, girl, you crushed it. It's pure, pure hard work. I think it's